I'm just going to get straight into this because you know I, I get really awkward when I start videos. So, today, as you can see, maybe I should move those over. Have I just used these bags to bring up everything. So the idea for this video was I was going to... If you've seen some of my other videos, I have like a styling suite, which is just basically a room, and I have like a clothes row, and when I planned this video, I thought that I would stand with these bits on the clothes row and do like a kind of basics styling session, which I am going to do, but I've already put this video off for a week, and I've got so much to do. I've just filmed my second Hermes Kelly reveal. Um, is this going to go up before? I think this is going to go up after, but you know, just think, I don't know, I never plan what's going up with. And I need to get them all edited, and basically my styling suite is a bit of a mess some of the time. You know when you start cleaning, you then start doing everything else, that's what I do. And I really just need to focus on filming all my videos today and getting them edited. And yeah, unfortunately I'm not doing it in the room standing up, doing it like how I planned, but I promise there's going to be more to come and I'm going to be telling you the same thing anyway. So I was recently in, I was going to do this anyway, and I'd already been to Reese and picked up a few things. This is a Reese, you've seen the thumbnail, this is a Reese thing. Not sponsored by Reese, this is something that I wanted to do. So, um, and if it was sponsored by Reese, it should be fine. Like, I just want to also put out there, this is not sponsored, but if I ever do do sponsored content, it's going to be stuff that is stuff that I'm wearing. You, I will never put out something that I don't believe in, um, and you shouldn't be able to tell the difference between what's sponsored and what's not, but I will tell you if it is. So I was in Zara recently, and two lovely girls came over to me, and so hi if you're watching, they come over to me and told me what kind of things they wanted to see on my YouTube channel, which was the best thing ever. Like, I couldn't imagine anything better than saying, like, giving me feedback on what you want to see. So this video is for you two girls that asked me how to style up basic things and where to go for basic things. I also got quite a few requests on what to wear for basics and what to wear for work. So this, I'm kind of trying to do this for everyone that's asked. I love Reese, I've always loved Reese. It's one of those stores that it's always been consistent. It's never had... <laughs> if you feel like you're gonna sneeze like that, you know the biggest tip is to look at light and then it makes it come out. Sorry about that, it just really needed to come out. Um, what was the saying? Only takes a sneeze to distract me. Yeah, Reese has never been one of them stores that has gone like up. Or, uh, please don't comment saying that was gross. You know, I'm in my house, I sneezed, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, Reese has ne not ever been one of them stores where it's gone up or down. You know how some stores have. Like, let's take Abercrombie and Fitch, for example. I've always loved Abercrombie, but they kind of went off, didn't they, for a while, and now they're back. This has never happened with Reese, and I... Yeah, pay them for being so consistent, and I remember when I was at university, I always divert and tell you stories, but I can't help myself. When I was at university, two of my friends that I'm still friends with now used to work in Reese, and the rest of us used to be like, oh my god, you get to wear Reese stuff to work. And when I was at uni, Reese was like the top end of what I could afford, and I would buy like one dress now and again, one jacket now and again. It was the top, top end. Whereas now, like I'm not a student and I've... I can afford um, higher, but there was a point in time where Reese was my top, top end budget. And I'm not saying that for any other reason than if Reese is your top end budget, then maybe as you get older or you prog progress from your... Do you understand what I'm saying? The point was that was like my holy grail, like the Reese stuff. And since university 10 years ago, I've always loved it. So recently I just wanted some basics. I was trying to look for, the thing that I wanted the most was leather trousers and a black blazer. And I wanted something that was so simple and the only one I could find was a Saint Laurent one, which I still love, but it was nearly 3,000 pounds. And I kept going back to it thinking there is no other black blazer that is doing the job like this. And it was just sleek, like longish blazer. And for some reason, I just couldn't part with that. So I carried on my search, and it took me about four months, and I found this. It's pretty much identical. Like, you see how... 
the lapel, there's no collar, it's just a lapel and it's really flattering on the neck. And I've taken, I wore this, um, I wore like all of what I'm going to show you in London, like to show you how I styled it up, so don't worry, I'm not just going to sit here. So you can see that the lapel is really nice, it was exactly what I was looking for. And this is like a Chanel clasp, let me show you. So the clasp is like a Chanel reissue clasp. And I really, really loved that. I don't know how many people would notice that, but I did. And I tried it on and you can just see it fits me like a glove. What size did I get this in? I got this in a 10. Some of them I got in different sizes. Just because it's a classic blazer, black, I might want to wear it with something underneath. So I went for a 10, but eight in Reese fits me perfectly. And if I want something slightly oversized, I go for medium. This is also from Reese, by the way. And this I got in an M because I wanted it oversized. Like, not too... Yeah, I've got that in a medium. So this is how this one looks and I was so, I can't remember all the prices, sorry, I've worn every single thing here, I've taken all the labels off and I wanted to make sure I wear it to tell you like how it felt, um, but I'm going to leave everything in the link below and then you can click on there and see the prices and what's left in stock, everything's in stock, I checked this morning. So that was the black blazer, it will go with everything and the cut of Reese, um, the Reese jackets, well everything really, their tailoring's all done in Italy and if you look Let's take you to the next one. If you look at all their buttons, this is a tip and how you see if a tailor piece has been made really well. And that's if the jacket um, here, if they're, I can't get my words out. If the buttons are real buttons, that's an amazing tailored piece. Some companies and brands try to trick you and always check this, it's the biggest tip I can give you to get a well-made, good quality jacket. They'll undo, they'll make this one livable, like open, and then these, the buttons behind will be fake. So it's the first thing I checked and all the buttons work. Another one is this, like I hope you can really see how well-made these Reese jackets are, is under the collar, check how, how this is. Like this has been re instated so like when I talk about fabric I get really involved because I studied fabric at university um also one tip that really rivals me like you wouldn't believe is you don't have to do this but it's just like some knowledge if anyone any of you want to know don't refer to fabric as material like in the industry I'm not speaking on behalf of everyone and maybe different generations, but how I grew up and how I learned from my experience in at university, you should never call it material. Material is what you have on a building site, like bricks, wood, that's material. This is fabric. So you'll see it's... Okay, so my battery ran out, which I know I say 90% of my videos, but um, it's just me. I can't help it. No, it's wonky. So I'm using my vlogging camera now, so I've completely changed all my equipment. I'm just gonna explain. I've completely changed all of my equipment. I've got like a new camera for shooting. <sighs> Breathe. Which I really love, I'm so happy with. And then I bought a new vlogging camera, which is this. So I'll leave the links to the new cameras that I'm using. I'm really, really happy with them. Um, and then also when I run down and got this, oh, I've left my charger in my flat in London. Paris left my charger in my flat in London, so I can't charge this this is the camera that i use normally for like at home filming it's such a fab camera i really like it but the battery thing i've left in london and then when i went to get this which just so happened to be in the kitchen i put some goujons in the yaga because um filming on an empty stomach is really bad so it's 2:15. they take like 20 minutes don't they goujons my stomach's rumbling so i'll go down in 15 minutes that will make me wrap this up Okay, no idea what, what, where I got to, but I think I was going on about something about fabric and how well made the Reese jackets are. So I wanted something that, everything that I'm showing you is what completely classic, apart from a little twist on one jacket, which I still think is classic. So I need it, there's still like a few hundred pound, like two to three hundred pound for a jacket at Reese, so it still has to be worth the cost per, per wear, and I love good tailoring, and that's why I always go for Bauman, because I love the tailoring and Bauman, so it had to feel like on par, but I wanted to give you 
a high street option and I also want to give myself a high street option because I love wearing jackets, I am the jacket whore, literally, um, and I scoured the best place and I actually only intended on getting one or two but I ended up getting more than one or two and they, um, I kind of coincided this with London Fashion Week when the girls invited me into the styling suite which is amazing by the way, it's like on Regent Street upstairs and there's like a whiskey bar, there's coffee, Prosecco, I think anyone can go up there to inquire about that because it's amazing, like lovely views over Regent Street. So yeah, I coincided with, I went and bought a few bits myself and coincided with a few bits that I was gifted for London Fashion Week and then I went back the next day and spent well, I'm not going to tell you how much, but a lot on Paris because I love Reese for menswear. Anyway, back to what we were doing. I wonder why my battery runs out all the time because I talk so much. This is the second blazer I got. Completely caught me off guard. Never intended to get this blazer at all, but I... It was love at first sight. I don't even know what colour you can call this. It's like a charcoal grey. One of my favourite greys to wear. It's like a slate grey. With, when I say olive tone, I mean like the most discreet olive tone possible because it's not olive green at all, I probably wouldn't have bought it. And it's just divine, like that is the word that comes to my head. The fit of these jackets are just, they're perfection. And these don't come with trout, uh... She better not start barking, it's Bambi. Um, yeah, it doesn't come with jacket uh, trousers, but that doesn't matter to me because I'm not really like a suity kind of person anyway. I don't mind it the odd time. I would wear these literally with anything, dresses, jeans. With me, it's going to be jeans or, or leathers. So you can wear it in your own time. You can wear either of these with leather trousers in the evening. You can, you, there's so many ways you can mix it up. And I, like, you could wear the black jacket with this jumper. I picked up a tea somewhere. I bought a few, like every colour tea. Reese t shirts are really good. This is a cotton and linen mix, and their teas really wash well. This is the only one I haven't worn. £45, and it's cotton and linen mix. And oh, that's in a size small. I was meant to get size medium. Oh well, I'll have a fitted tea for a change. Actually, that's quite a nice. A generous size small so you can put anything like just buy a black or a white one of these or grey even and it will go with every single jacket and they're all completely different sizes so this one is a double breasted one and I basically wore in the London video every single jacket with the same outfit so you can just see how a jacket can transform an outfit that's why I always invest in my jackets this one I have lived in and you can you can see that as well. And I actually forgot to get the um, the belt that goes with it because I was in a rush. I had to go to a meeting and I, I was in Reese an extra hour and a half and it was my fault. I just literally ran out. So I should go and get that. This jacket is, is quite dirty because I've lived in it. I've worn it at least six times in the last two weeks. Again, every single jacket has the reinstated thicker fabric under the collar. Um, every single jacket has the real buttons and I just love this jacket so much it comes with the trousers and this was the only time I thought I'll get the trousers as well because I thought that it was a nice like summer look because we don't have that great summers and if I want to go somewhere where I can't wear jeans or something and I don't want to wear a dress that's the reason I got it and lastly I have this leather jacket so again, I went in to Reese looking for a plain leather jacket and I, I bought my Saint Laurent one thinking it was a plain leather jacket and I adore it, I love it, like always going to love it but it does have tassels which I still like but I just felt like I needed something more simple um, and I have a black studded jacket with black hardware and I really like it because I mix and match my hardware. I loved it that this had black hardware but most of all this is croc mock. Can you see? This is croc mock, so leather embossed croc mock. And I saw one of these in LA about five years ago and I loved it, but it was like 5,000 pound. Like I can't even remember what brand it was. And I was like, oh, I can definitely find that. No, I didn't. I haven't found it anywhere. And when I do, they're extortionate and they're not even real crocodile. Not that I would ever wear that. 
So this was the first time I'd ever come across a croc mock and I think it's because I really love Saint Laurent and I really love all the croc mock that they do. So I just had to have that, that, that was a no brainer for me. And you'll see in the video like how this fits. I got this in a size 10. I got this cream one in a size 8 and I got the grey one in a size 8 because I wanted these two more fitted. So now I'm going to leave you, I'm really rushing my videos because I'm always concerned how long they are. So I didn't want to talk too much but I basically just wanted to show you a store that I love shopping in that sells really well tailored made classic piece pieces. Um, they also do really good jeans, really good tees and one thing that I absolutely love about Reese are their shirts. And I actually can't show you that because in the wash I've worn it so many times. I got a baby blue shirt in a size medium in the men's department and I love it. It's like big long cuffs, like a bigger collar than women's normal collars. And it's slightly long in the body where it's for men but because it's a men's fitted shirt it's quite fitted on me. It's perfect. Like men's shirts are my favourite thing to wear, especially the fitted ones because they're not boxy and oversized and I love how the sleeves are a bit long on me and they come through the jacket you'll see in the video that I'm about to show you that I just paired it with everything that I'm wearing here from a leather jacket to the black jacket to the cream one it looked insane with all of them so insane that I want to get one I feel like some fluffy thing is going on I want to get one in in every colour yeah, I'm definitely going to get a white one and probably like maybe baby pink or something. So yeah, I just styled it the same, but stay tuned to be seeing how I'm going to be wearing all of these because I, I got these intending to be classic pieces that I'm going to be pairing. So make sure you follow my Instagram, make sure you follow um, Twitter and Snapchat because I always share every day what I'm wearing and there'll be lots more to come. But I'll leave you with this video for now to show you how all of the... How, how they all looked... Bambi's here, sorry, distracting me. Then you can see how they all looked on, and yeah, that's it really. So if you're looking for somewhere to buy classic pieces, like Cospo Wear, this is a great brand, and every season they do insane jackets. At the moment I have my eye on the Darcy leather trousers, I want them so bad. They're so amazing because it's hard to find actual leather trousers instead of leggings, so I really wanna get a pair of those. Um, I'll leave everything in the link below, but that and the Dove Grey Shearling Coat. And also there's a tan liver jacket, and I hate brown, I hate tan. But it's uh, like a delicious tan colour. So for me to like tan in anything, it must be good. So I really like those three pieces, and I'll leave a link below. I'm going to also, this video will be on my blog, and below will be pictures of everything I'm wearing. So if the video wasn't enough for you, I'm sorry that I do that. I'm like, yeah, bye, I'm going, and then I talk for literally another 10 minutes. But if it's not enough for you to see in the video, click onto my blog, either in the link below if you're on YouTube and you found this, or if you're on my blog, there'll be pictures of all of these outfits. So you can see, maybe like, I oh, know you want to screenshot and keep it on your phone, like, I don't know. Is that being too like, oh yeah, screenshot me. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry I didn't stick to the original plan of styling in my styling suite, but that is gonna be a lot more to come. Please leave me a comment if you want to see other videos, because I listen to all the requests, and although I don't do them straight away, I definitely, because I wanna research, and like if you wanna look at date night outfits, I'll really research and go and buy a few things, and then I'll come back later, and I might have other things in the pipeline. So please leave me a comment. What do you wanna see? Do you wanna see work outfits? Do you want to use, like, don't forget that, for those of you that don't know me, I have been a stylist for 10 years. I used to be a personal shopper, um, fashion specialist at Harrods. So I really want to share my knowledge. Like I do know what I'm talking about. and I, I don't wanna sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I do have, let's just say I have the experience to actually share some knowledge with you on how you style things and where to go for classic pieces. And just because I like going shopping and buying things, so even that helps. So yeah, please leave me a comment if there's anything else you wanna see. And I, I only do this because I get nervous about saying goodbye. And I feel like if I carry on talking, oh my God, my goujons, my goujons, my goujons. Wait, the goujons. My lunch is ready and I really wanted to show you. Sorry, not even focused. 
had to move all the white stuff this side because it's not a good idea. So they look a bit burnt because I like burnt chicken. This is what I'm eating. So I'm really dramatic in life. And because I have Crohn's, I always feel like I've got food poisoning. This is really bad dinner for Crohn's as well. Um, I always overcook my chicken because the last thing I want is food poisoning when every other day I feel like I've got food poisoning anyway. So this is what I eat when Paris is away. Because Paris is like French and likes amazing food. Whereas I could live like a child. Um, his parents get really embarrassed when we go to restaurants because I'm like, is there chicken nuggets? And they get really angry. Um... So yeah, I literally have been eating this three days in a row because he's been gone for three days. And then it doesn't stop there. This is what I eat. I literally, does anyone else eat like a child? And overcook their chicken because they're worried about getting ill. This is why I'm like a bit like chubby. This is, I'll, I'll eat it all as well. And to be honest, I don't have breakfast and then I won't eat after this, which is really bad, I know. Because basically the other day I was making this and I couldn't decide if I want... I know this is meant to be about like clothes, but I didn't know whether I wanted this, goujons and beans, or I didn't know if I wanted this, that's burning me. Normally ideally I'd like fish finger sandwich, but I'm allergic to fish now, I never used to be, I have been for like 15 years, and yes, then I just did both, and then you, you put the sandwich together, and then you dip it in the beans. So I'm going to go and eat this now, and I hope that's inspired you to make like goujon sandwich and dip it in your beans. Um, okay, I'm going to eat these. I hope you enjoy, like, the little one-minute video that I've made of me all wearing these. And any questions, any suggestions, any comments, then leave them in the comments below. Okay. See ya. That was good for a goodbye, wasn't it? That's, I think that's been my best one yet. See ya. <laughs>